basically before this starting the manufacturing of pellets uh, we are into trading of i have a huge demand like around 150 to 200 tons per uh, per month huge demand in hyderabad for uh, even in food processing units and other confectionery and uh, frankly speaking we are i am very lucky to have this provec engineering what i suggest is please look into this biomass field because this biomass pellets and briquettes and everything what are biomass so this is the future Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Provec Engineering and Food Processing Power Limited and I am your friend Anshul Jain directly reporting from the Eco Sustain Expo 2024 which is being held at High Tech Exhibition Center Hyderabad Kondapur, the city of Hyderabad, Nawab City, Biryani City and we are directly reporting from the Eco Sustain Expo 2024 and with me is Mr. Saket Reddy who has bought this complete plant which you can see behind me and I will ask some questions with Mr. Saket Reddy to just guide the people in uh, southern region because you know i have flown many videos for the north india but there are no uh, videos from the directly from the south india guy and he is the person who has bought this plant so we'll ask many questions to them and uh, he will answer one by one sakit reddy ji swagat hai sir aapka thank you thank you thank you sakit reddy ji what is the uh, inspiration you got so uh, to buy the plant how you, you are going to start the sort of pellet business in uh, hyderabad or the southern region can you explain in de uh, detail about so it basically before this starting the manufacturing of pellets uh, we are into trading of coal so our clients are most most probably our clients are shifting from coal to biomass and uh, there are some norms from the government and everything so even we thought of why don't we start this biomass pellets manufacturing so in that way we get into this pellets manufacturing one question is that that uh, i just go to know about uh, many guys from the southern region there is the least awareness about the biomass pellet uh, compared to, to the northern india and what is the reason behind that isn't is the government aware of that or uh, the people are not uh, aware of uh, coming to the biomass pellet especially when it comes to telangana uh, there is no ntpc the, like that is using pellets right now here so so the main thing is uh, andhra ntpc there is one ntpc in andhra pradesh which is using this biomass pellets and everything so when it comes to telangana no ntpc in telangana is using so that i think that will be the main reason and other than that when it comes to food processing units and other thing there are huge demand in this like 6 mm commercial pellets and also there are some pharma companies which are using pellets there so i think the main issue is the uh, ntpc is which is lagging here, that's it. Sakya sir, uh, that's, that's okay that uh, NTPCs are not yet started taking the pellet. There are not much NTPCs or not thermal plant in the southern region. But as northern India, NTPCs are moving to the uh, substitute of coal. And also the government uh, uh, of India and as well as the Supreme Court has bound it to use the biomass pellet instead of coal by 5 to 7 percent right now and they have also asked for gradually increasing the consumption of pellet instead of coal uh, what is the phenomena which is uh, uh, this uh, uh, which is this is binding to the thermal plant not to using pellet in uh, southern india means what is the reason why they are not coming to this isn't is the uh, reason of less of biomass available in the southern india isn't is the uh, uh, less of awareness what is the main reason of behind that because you know when there is there are plants there are ntpcs when there is ntpcs there is no plant what the ntpc will do if they uh, float in tender what is the main reason behind that so abhi biomass availability ko to there is complete available, uh, huge availability of biomass in southern region because the paddy, they will grow paddy and everything here. So, so raw material availability is, there is no issue with raw material availability in southern region. But the gap, they, they, that's uh, just a time that like, I mean, they are starting with uh, North India. So, slowly they will come to South India. So, in future, there is chances of increasing in thermal power, power plants also using this 5 to 7 percent. The more, there is a chance in future. You are putting up a plant of 2 ton per hour. Yes. What is your phenomena behind this? You want to sell to the open market, to boilers, to pharma sector, to chemical sector. What is your targeted customer? So, I have an existing customers like pharma industries. They, uh, there are some MNCs which I am supplying right now. Uh, like uh, Actually, I am trading right now. So, I am planning to put my own manufacturing plant. So, I have a huge demand like around 150 to 200 tons per, uh, per month. Uh, just a single company pharma industry and there are some other food processing units that i am dealing with right now so 
I will definitely go with that food processing units and there is a huge demand in Hyderabad for even in food processing units and other confectionaries and everything. So, so what sorts of pallet are being used like 6mm, 8mm, 10mm? What is in much demand in Hyderabad or if we call about the southern India, what is in much demand? In southern India, uh, mostly 6mm is in higher demand. For, uh, so for this burners and everything, 6mm like food manufacturing, everything, uh, food processing plants and everything they are using 6mm pellets why because they are using burners and everything when it comes to pharma industries they are having huge boilers so they are they are comfortable with using 8mm pellets how what this ecosystem expo 2024 you have visited all stalls you have also visited the prove engineering and food processing stalls what about the opinion about the prove stall and about the ecosystem expo 2024 so actually <laughs> frankly speaking we are i am very lucky to have this prove engineering here so I have bought this machinery and even I suggest you to go and visit this project engineering and everything. And lastly, one more question. What is the message to the Southern India people? Because you know, South is just to start in biomass pallet. Right. There are a lot of demand in Southern India also. But the people are not aware of this. The NTPCs are not aware of this. And even the government is not aware of this. Lack of government awareness, lack of government uh, calls on the biomass pellet conversion, lack of government policies. This is what I found responsible for lack of power plants, lack of uh, biomass consumption in the southern market. What is your message to the southern India people? So, what I suggest is, please look into this biomass field because this biomass pellets and briquettes and everything, water, biomass. So, this is the future. Why? Because in coming days, the anyways, the coal is going to extend in coming days. So, everyone who want to do business, look into this business. We have, to, we all have to do business. We have to grow together. That's so, friends, this was all about Mr. S.R. Reddy who bought this plant and he's from the Hyderabad. A young guy who bought the plant, he's going to start the biomass pellet business in Hyderabad itself and he has already been the market of 300 tons per month and now he's growing very fast and he wants to explore more plants in the future. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for connecting with PUG. Stay connected.